and now I am going to give you the basic information or the basic scope of work which is common to some rotors like centrifugal multi-stage compressor rotors or the multi-stage steam turbine rotors these are the common scope of work which can be applicable so coming to the scope there are three main areas we need to focus the first one the initial inspection the second repairing and the third the final inspection coming to the first the initial inspection after you are sending this rotor to the workshop the workshop team receive the rotor and they need to unpack and they should take the photography about the condition of the rotor to ensure that damage is there or exist or not and second one we need to do the cleaning work the cleaning is as per the OEM standard sometimes OEM can be preferred to use aluminum oxide or any chemical solvents or by hand cleaning also the third one in the initial inspection is visual inspection visual inspections normally they used to do in the bearing journal areas the probe areas the thrust disc areas the impellers if it is a multi-stage compressor rotor impellers and impeller disc impeller seal sites again for the rotor seals areas if it is coming to the steam turbine rotor you need to analyze all the blades of turbine wheels whether any dent or bent anything is there or not so after this you should do the gauss check gauss check is nothing but the magnetic flux existing in the rotor then you, you should go for the dimensional check then the electrical runout then NDT non-destructive test then the balance check once you complete this initial inspection you should develop the report the workshop team should develop the report with photography so photography should be attached in all the visual inspected areas to clearly it will be visible and it can be very useful to refer by our client the planning engineers as well as the uh, quality engineers or planned engineers they can review all the reports and they will give the green signal to go for repair or refurbishment then coming to the second step is the repairing repairing is commonly uh, we used to do the burnishing yes burnishing can be done in the probe areas then polishing uh, then again uh, the rust to remove the rust or corrosions and uh, if you found any dent in the uh, steam turbine blades that can all be removed in the repair phase and then we should go for the final phase is the final inspection again we need to follow the same thing from the dimensional check then gauss check then electrical runout as well as the mechanical runout final gauss check again then go for the final balance check you should do the final balance check in presence of the client or customer the customer should be available for doing the final balance check and the final report has been developed and again they need to send for approval of the client so these are the three phases you should understand and it is common for all the rotors particularly the compressor rotor as well as the steam turbine rotor and this information will be more useful for the emerging new maintenance engineers or the new planning engineers who are all worked in petrochemical as well as oil and gas industries if you want, if you like this video, just like it and leave your comment below the video. Thank you so much.